Hello, this is Jamie Magrich. Welcome to Jamie's Craft Table. Today I'm going to show you how I made this card. Let's get started. I'm going to bring in my box of goodies. I'm going to be using um, the oval occasions and the uh, double oval punch that goes came with it as a bundle. And this is from the new mini catalog. A lot of the other stuff I'm using is not from the catalog, but okay, I'm going to be using this die here, which is from the Tasteful Labels. I'm going to be using this die here. I've already cut this one out and then snipped it out of gold foil, and this is from Beauty Abounds, and I'm going to go ahead and put that away so I don't lose it. I already dropped it and lost it once today. here. Alright, I've got two scraps of white. They're scraps. This one's large enough to die cut this out of. This one's to stamp our sentiment and punch it. Okay, then I have pool party. Two and a quarter by four inches. Two and three quarters by four inch piece of misty moonlight. A three by four and three quarters inch piece of boho indigo designer series paper. Three and one quarter by five inch piece of misty moonlight. Four and a quarter or four by five and a quarter inch piece of pool party. Four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece of misty moonlight. And then my card base, which is a heavyweight white. Five and a half by eight and a half, scored and folded at four and a quarter. And then I'm going to be using two embossing folders. I'm going to be using this one from Greenery Embossing Folders and the Ornate Floral. Okay. So let's get started. I'm also going to be using the flowers from the Boho Indigo and um, a little piece of gold uh, ribbon. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do on this scratch paper, I'm going to stamp the sentiment and I'm using Time to Celebrate for Mobile Occasions and Memento Black Ink. You can use whatever. Oh, Misty Moonlight would be pretty, but I just like the black. I'm going to do it this way the center of this. Perfect. That's all the stamping in this one. And I'm going to bring in this punch. Open it. Mm, I might have to trim that. I should have stamped it a little bit lower down. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, I can't use the other side. That is truly a scrap. That might fit there. So let's just do it here. So lesson learned. Don't stamp too far in the middle or you won't be able to get to the edge of the stamp to punch it out. Or of the punch to punch it out. Okay, put that in there. Center that up in there. Punch it out. So there's that piece. Okay, now put this aside, and this aside, this aside. Well, let's go ahead and mount some of these together so that uh, I'm going to go ahead and mount this three and by four and three quarter inch piece of um, designer series paper. To the three and a quarter by five inch piece of misty moonlight. Okay. I'll go ahead. 
ahead and mount these two together as well. Four and a quarter, or four by five and a quarter inch piece of pool part. This can get mounted right to the front of our card. right here I'm doing it slightly different than my original because I want a little bit of this a little bit more edge to show so if you don't want that this would be a quarter inch each, each of those would be a quarter inch longer it's the same width just length Okay, let's set that aside. Now, out of this piece, the two and a quarter by four inch piece of pull party, actually I won't be able to do that, will I? I'll need another piece. Let me grab my pull party, grab a scrap. I just realized I was going to try and save paper. However, you can't go in the center and punch it it's going to punch this part there as well so I'm going to have to use another uh, scrap. Okay so we'll punch just that. All right now this piece is going to get run through this embossing folder with the one with the little flowers. Okay this piece it's going to get run through the other embossing folder. This one here. So I'm going to go and do that and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. I've got those done. Now I'm going to die cut this one with this die. The reason I embossed it first is because I want this to be more... Um, pronounced on the edge. Okay, so I'm going to go do that. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see it, but that way you can get that stitched edge on there. Okay, I'm also going to bring in some shimmer mist. It's rubbing alcohol with a little bit of frost white all-purpose ink in there. Okay, so let me Scratch paper here. I'm going to miss this with my ink. It's going to give it a nice shimmer. Let that dry. Okay. Now well, we're going to bring in the two and three quarters by four inch. I got glue stuck on me. A four and a quarter inch piece of misty moonlight. We're going to mount this piece onto here. So really, it's quite a few layers, but it's really not a difficult card at all. Could do it without the embossing. I just thought the embossing added quite a bit. I'm going to go and dry this with my heat tool on on the first setting, just so I can advance on. Normally, I just let it sit to dry, but I'll be okay, right back. I'm back. That's dry. So now I'm going to bring in some 
some uh well, I'm gonna adhere this with wet glue onto the back onto here. It's gonna get centered on this piece. adhere the sentiment we stamped onto our oval. Okay, I need some dimensionals. Put some on the back of this. Some on the back of this. Okay. This is going to get mounted to the front of the card. Pretty much center. I put it up a little bit higher towards the top. Just was a little bit more pleasing to my eye. Don't stick yet. Not straight. There you go. Okay, now this one. It's centered right in the center of this. Okay. Now these little, this break here was one piece. You see, can you, let's see if I can get it up here so you can actually see it. I just snipped it right there. Okay, so this piece, I'm going to cheat. I'm just going to put a little glue on here. Tap a little glue on the back, a little less messy. This one's going to get tucked right here. Same with this one. This one's going to get stuck right here. Now we're going to bring in those flowers. I want one large one, three small ones. Just a little touch of glue on the back. This one's going to go up here. It's going to go right there. Decides to stick, that would be great. Tiny bit more glue. Another little one. Right next to it. They do stick, as you can see. Well, it doesn't want to stick right now. This one, I used a dimensional on, and I think I used a mini dimensional. Let me find it. Stuck 
that to the back. And that one goes right here. There we go. Then I took my little bow. And my glue dots, which just rolled away on me. And I took a glue dot and I rolled it up into a little ball. Came in with my snips and trim those. I don't know where are my good ones. I must have them out already. Trim these little. Well, this stuff is not cooperating. A little bit of a haircut here. Come on, underneath there you go. There we go, there's the card we just made together. The only difference on this card is these two layers are a little bit shorter, so I have that border around. Here's the one I did previously. Well, thanks for joining me at Jamie's Craft Table. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I hope you can find a little bit of time to play with some stamps, ink, and paper.